Welcome back to N1 Mathematics, and we are now progressing to activity 1.2 on exponents. In the previous video, we looked at the different types of expressions, and the expression is broken up into the coefficient and the power. The power consisting of the base and the exponent. We also looked at the different exponential laws and how to apply those laws. Now, before progressing to the calculation, please hit that subscribe button and the like button to support this YouTube channel. Here in question one, when multiplying bases that are the same, we would add the exponents. Therefore, we would have x to the three plus four, and that would give us x to the seven. Here in question two, when multiplying bases that are the same, we would add the exponents. Therefore, we would have a to the three plus four plus two, and that would give us a to the nine. In question three, inside the brackets, we have the same base of a multiplied by a. When multiplying bases that are the same, we would add the exponents, therefore a to the four plus two, and that would give us a to the six. Here in question four, in order to simplify this, we would multiply the bases that are the same, therefore to add the exponents, so it would be a multiplied by a and b multiplied by b. We would have a to the exponent of 2n plus 3n multiplied by b to the 2 plus 1. That would give us a to the 5n multiplied by b to the 3. Now, when dividing bases that are the same, we would subtract the exponents. Therefore, the base a to the exponent of 6 minus 3 would give us a to the 3. Here we have bases that are the same. Now, when dividing bases that are the same, we would subtract the exponents. Therefore, we would have 3 to the 4 minus 1, which would give us 3 to the 3, when simplified is 27. Here in question 7, we would multiply the coefficients of 3 and 2 to give us 6. When multiplying bases that are the same, we would add the exponents. Therefore, x to the 1 plus 2 multiplied by y to the 2 plus 1. And that would give us 6 multiplied by x cubed and multiplied by y cubed. Here in question 8, when multiplying bases that are the same, we would add the exponents. Just be cautious of the negative sign. So ideally, we should actually work with brackets. Therefore, 3 to the 3 plus minus 2 would give us 3 to the exponent of 1, which is equal to 3. Here in question 9, we have a fraction, and therefore we would divide the coefficients of 6 and 2, when simplified would give us 3. Now when dividing bases that are the same, we would subtract the exponents. Therefore, 3 to the x, with 6 subtract 2, would give us a final answer, with 3 multiplied by x to the 4. Here we have two coefficients, 4 and 3. When multiplied would give us 12. The bases are the same. When multiplying the bases that are the same, we would add the exponents. Once again, we have a negative sign. Therefore, you should use your brackets. The coefficients of 12 with the base a and the exponent of 10 plus minus 4 would give us a final answer of 12a to the 6. In question 11, we have uh, two different applications. We have a multiplication and a division. So what I would do is I would create a fraction. We would have a to the 3 multiplied by a to the 5 above the line. And we would have a to the minus 2 below the line. Right, now that we've got our fraction, the bases are the same above the line, therefore it will be a to the 3 plus 5 over a to the minus 2. Now, when dividing bases that are the same, we would subtract the exponents. Therefore, 3 plus 5 subtract the exponent of minus 2 and simplify that would give us the base a to the exponent of 10. This is our final question. Now we have a fraction with the coefficient of 2 over 8. When simplified would give us a quarter. 
Now, when dividing bases that are the same, we would subtract the exponents. Therefore, 2 over 8 with the base x with the exponent 3 minus 1 and the base y with exponents of 6 minus 3. And that would give us a quarter multiplied by x to the 2 and y by the 3. Thanks for watching this video. Please remember to hit that like button and to share these videos. Thank you.